Welcome back. Balik sa spotlight ang football dito sa Pilipinas dahil sasabak ang dalawang Pinoy clubs, ang Ceres Negros FC at Global FC sa AFC Cup. And to tell us more about the competition, kasama natin ngayon ang ilang mga members ng Ceres Negros. Nandito si head coach Risto Vidakovic, co-captain si Martin Schäuble, Mike Casas, Carly De Murga at goalkeeper na si Roland Müller. Ceres, guys, good evening. Welcome to the score. Good Thank you for joining us. I'll start with you, coach. Coach, uh, 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 you're mic'd up already. How are you? How is uh, how's the team uh, so far? I know you played one game already. You had a draw in Hanoi, but uh, how is the team coming along uh, for this particular AFC Cup? Yeah, after the good result we, we reached in Hanoi, mm -hmm. the team is recovering from from the long travel and uh, now we're preparing the next game here. In I understand against. you said that it's a good result because part part of the challenges as well is you haven't been playing competitively, right? Uh, compared to the other teams, they have yeah. their leagues ongoing. The UFL ended quite some time ago. So how did you cope? Uh, how, did you, how did you prepare this team to be in competitive shape? Yeah, we, we try to play some tune-up games mm -hmm. in Singapore and here and also in Manila, but it's not the same, you know, yeah. because there is different level when you play the league games, it's more competitive. Uh, it's different when you play uh, tune-up games and you play competitive games. That's mm -hmm. totally different. Right, so, absolutely, yeah. Uh, I think uh, even even if we didn't play competition games, uh, we, we compete very good in mm -hmm. Vietnam. Uh, okay, let's talk to some of the players. Martin, uh, for you, what was, uh, how would you assess that first game uh, that you played in Hanoi, that, that draw that coach said that you guys uh, were ha quite happy with the result? Yeah, first of all, we faced a very, very strong Hanoi team. Mm -hmm. So they were giving us a lot of trouble, but I think we, we fought really well as a team. We executed what the coach, coach wanted from us. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, we almost came away with a win. Yep. I don't know if it would be deserved, but uh, yeah, then we, we got a draw at the end of the day. And there's five more games to go. So I think we, we started uh, the whole campaign pretty, pretty OK for, for the first game against Hanoi. That's right. And Mike, uh, eventually you'll play them again, of course, the second uh, leg. When they come, to the, they come here and play in Panad, how does that help that uh, you've, you've played them once, you, you had a good draw? And then you'll have the hometown crowd in Panad eventually. What uh, what advantage will you have? Uh, um, in for sure, the uh, advantage po namin, um, especially home crowd, um, mm -hmm. especially uh, Panad, uh, par parating full pack talaga. Yep. So, mm -hmm. mawubuhay talaga yung players. So, uh, for sure, kapag si sila yung mas mahirapan doon. Mm -hmm. Kasi um, yung isang chance din namin siguro doon sa Vietnam kasi medyo konti lang yung nanood sa kanila. Mm -hmm. So, disadvantage din yun sa Correct. home team. So, mm -hmm. this time, pag uh, doon na uh, gaganapin sa Panahad, for sure, uh, high spirit yung team namin. Okay. Carly, uh, the, the next game is March 7 uh, in Panad. You're playing uh, the Singapore team, correct? Um, how, how, what's it like? Tell us what the, the home crowd will be like to help you guys when you play a foreign team like that when Singapore will play you there in Panad. Okay, you have the chance to play a couple of games there in Panad at mm -hmm. home, and then uh, the crowd was amazing. Sometimes mm -hmm. when you have no energy, they push you, they give your support, they yeah. give your extra energy to, to run more or, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, to right, compete right. more. Uh -huh. So it's going to be amazing to play home again, and hopefully we get the three points. Mm -hmm. um, Roland, um, does scouting help? Do you know the opponents well enough already before you play them? Uh, you don't see these teams very often, uh, but have you seen... Have you, how you prepared for the Singapore team already for the March 7 game? Yeah, I think uh, especially against uh, Taipis, uh, we know this team. Uh, I think uh, last year we, we played uh, a lot against them. Mm -hmm. um, of course, uh, through the internet, we, we can watch a little bit the Singapore yep. League. Mm -hmm. uh, we follow them, and of course, uh, the staff uh, knows how they play. Or how, what is good for our team mm -hmm. to play uh, so they make um, to teach us to uh, know how they play us all right well coach uh, on the same uh, thought uh, how good is this Singapore team that you're gonna face next in March 7 in Panad just just to give an idea uh, to the fans who can expect to watch it as well and how how competitive will that game be for you guys yeah, it's, it will be a very hard game because all the teams in our group are very strong uh, mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, I think we have an advantage because we play at home and uh, with, with our crowd, I think we, we can win this game. All right. Um, Martin, for you guys, uh, I asked Coach earlier, what was it like uh, to prepare, especially not playing competitive games? But for the players, uh, how different is it? Uh, how much of a challenge is it to prepare for a big tournament like this, the AFC Cup, and yet you don't have 
league games at home to you know keep competitive yeah i think but that's why that's what we play football for you know mm -hmm. for the competitive games yeah. for for the big games so for for each and every player it's more interesting to play to play a good team to mm -hmm. play a competitive game the the friendly games are yeah. always you know you're a bit you know a bit looser than than on competitive games mm -hmm. so we were all looking forward to to start the campaign finally we had a, a long uh, pre-season yeah. we worked very hard so we were uh, ready to to get started and uh, mm -hmm. to attack them yeah. martin you, you uh, mike sorry mike you guys got a great run second place in both the league and the cup uh what do you think you could carry over from the experience of Ceres from this last season that could help the team get momentum coming into the AFC Cup? Uh, especially uh, we got new players and okay. uh, yung mga players po namin ngayon so like Roland yeah. and uh, Spanish uh, mas, ano, uh, mas confident yung team ngayon mm -hmm. um, also last year so even in AFC um, mm -hmm. we went to round of 16 that's yeah. why and uh, yung training naman ngayon mas ano talaga pukukan talaga so uh, for sure, um, kaya talaga namin i ano, um, iangat pa yung laro namin, even though na walang masyado pa, hindi pa nag-start yung ano, yeah. PFL. So, um, ganun pa rin yung ano namin, high uh, mentality always. Great. Coach, uh, give us an idea as well of um, how important playing in this tournament is for the club, for Ceres. Uh, we know that there's a transition here locally, the UFL has uh, you know ended and then it's transitioning to a new league, but in terms of taking this AFC Cup seriously, how big is it a deal for Ceres to want to be very competitive and hopefully do well in this in this uh, special tournament? Yeah, for, for us it's uh, especially very important because we play uh, in, in our island where the people love football, you know, yeah. and I think it's it's very important to to give them something they can enjoy, especially they can see the team fight mm -hmm. for, for the for Ceres, for, for, for the people from Negro, mm -hmm. so I, I think uh, it's, it's, especially for us, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing to see it's a full stadium and uh, play there is uh, something special for everyone, so I think we will enjoy. We know that we have a very hard group, yep. very hard teams, very hard opponents, but I think we will for sure give our best to, to, to qualify the next round. All right, well, Cardi, can you invite the fans in Ilongo? <laughs> invite the fans to come out on March 7 to support you guys. Okay, well, guys, uh, I wish you come to support us on March 7, on March 15, 7 to 15, Pana, the yep. stadium. Mm -hmm. We're going to give our best to make you proud. All right, well, all the best, guys. You've done great so far in your international campaigns, and we expect that Ceres will continue to improve and really make Filipino football very proud. Thank you so much, Thank Coach. You. And, guys, good luck. See you in March 7. Hi guys, keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates and don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.